applicable in software engineering process because in waterfall model there is no way to return back and uh, also in waterfall model uh, client is not involved in all the activities uh, in waterfall model client is only involved in the first phase and we listen the listen the story from the client in the first phase and process through all phases and finally we deliver the product and definitely that product is not what client actually means so to uh, solve that issue we have a different version of waterfall model this is called waterfall model with prototyping so here in first three phases we have the concept of prototyping so what is prototyping prototyping is actually a partially developed product uh, you can say a model product uh, a model of the actual product or a demo that is that contains hard coded value just to show the final picture uh, of the product to the client so that uh, we take an input from the client as as they say one picture thousand words so from this uh, demo client can actually decide if this is what he actually wants so uh, in waterfall model with prototyping after during the first phase of requirement we listen to the client and compile the requirement document and depending upon that document we develop a demo uh, or a prototype and we show that prototype to the client and when client uh, acknowledges and verif validates this demo then we move forward to the next phase of system design and depending upon this system design we again develop a demo and show to the client and again client validates this demo then we move forward to the program design and same activity is performed here as well so the upside the benefit of this technique is that by showing the demo or the final picture of the product uh, client can better understand uh, the product and better explain the product and and the same is the case with the development team and uh, so finally after this phase then we say that all the requirements and that that now it is final and from here onward we do not involve client and on all these phases are uh, passed through so and other change in waterfall model with prototyping is that we also involve system testing team in first two phases because system testing team is uh, responsible for testing the whole system and system testing team provides uh, the test cases that will be done uh, on the final product so uh, by analyzing those test cases we can further refine our requirements and system design so this waterfall model with prototyping is relatively a better uh, model as compared to the simple waterfall model